Please be gay, please be gay, please be gay. I don't want there to be drama this early in the show. <laughs> it's the first episode of the show, dude. All right, what is going on, everyone? It is Jack. If you're new here, I am a 23-year-old guy that is on the autism spectrum. I have Asperger's syndrome. I am high-functioning, and I really like making videos. So I hope you enjoy the reactions and other videos that I make. Consider subscribing if you want. I am going to be checking out a Netflix original called Atypical. My parents have apparently watched it, <clears throat> excuse me, and they say that it is a very similar dynamic to our family, and I have been begging me to watch it because it they just think that I would enjoy it. So I figured I'd give it a try, and it's also one of the first, <clears throat> one of the first series that I've ever seen other than uh, Parenthood on, I believe it was NBC that deals with someone that is autistic and on the spectrum and so I'm very interested to see how they handle it. it. I'm hoping it's well. Everybody on the spectrum is different, that's why it's a spectrum. But so uh, yeah, just some, some, uh, some stuff about me that <clears throat> kind of goes into the, uh, the autism kind of stuff. I definitely had my, uh, my, my chunks of time in my life where I had my, my little, it sounds silly when I say it this way, but my little autistic obsessions, um, throughout the years, like, <clears throat> it started with, uh, what was it, Toy Story and Hercules were the first two that I distinctly remember, then it was Power Rangers and Bouncy Balls, um, still, still sorta, of, sorta of Power Rangers, uh, there, if you, if you can't tell, um, then it moved to video games, playing lots and lots of video games. And I mean, that's kind of just a lot of people like video games, so I mean, that wasn't as much of an obsession. But um, the next, I guess, obsession would be The Walking Dead. And <clears throat> that one has stuck for a significant amount of time and blended along with the my desire and just craving to make content and be make things that are entertaining and, you know, make people happy and you know kind of give them a break from their everyday lives so and to like i like i was showing up there full full walking dead stuff also up up on my, my wall here walking dead stuff also the first and only show i've like been reacting to on this channel is the walking dead and i've gone to several conventions and everything so yeah um if any of you are on the spectrum and you want to share, feel free to do so. I would love to chat and find more people that are on the spectrum to talk to and become friends with because I feel like there's not a lot of people that are open about it and I wasn't really open about it for a while, but I at one point I was just kind of like, fuck it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if people are going to like me, they're going to like me for me. I don't want to put on some like fake persona. It's going to be, if it's me, it's going to be me. So. Yeah. I'm very interested to see how they handle his habits and obsessions and see how they portray the character. Because I did I did watch the trailer, so I know I have a general gist. I believe the main character's name is Sam. We'll see. And I thought I remember something about uh, the snow or like penguins or Antarctica or something. <clears throat> So he might be interested in that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah. In addition to the 100 and Vikings, this is one of the shows that I'm going to be reacting to on this channel. I'm going to try and get a schedule going for these three shows. I've been contemplating tweaking the patron tiers a bit, as I said before, making some for just pure early access once I get, you know, enough editing and get kind of a schedule going or doing, or not, or and doing the full and uncut ones. The ones, the full and uncut for my uh, Stranger Things 2 and 3 are all up on my Patreon right now. I'm in the middle of trying to edit Season 2, so, but if you want the full ones, they're up there right now. I'm considering also putting a tier up there that 
makes the full and uncut ones available the second that I get them uploaded to my Google Drive, which will be shortly after I record them. So it could end up being a month in advance from when I actually am able to get it edited down and uploaded to YouTube. But we'll see if I end up making that change or not. I'm not 100% sure if I do or if I will or not. But uh, yeah, I say without further ado, let's check this season premiere, series premiere for Atypical out. Sometimes I don't know what people mean when they say things and that can make me feel alone even when there are other people in the room. Oh man, I feel that. Research penguins in Antarctica or... I do the same thing. I'm doing one of mine right now where I... I'd like to go to Antarctica. Circle my, my, what it, my index finger on there. Or other times where I just like twist my hand or inflate my upper lip like... I can see your bra. It's perfect. <laughs> So forward and honest. I feel you, Sam. Donate my brain? After he dies. Such a black and white world. Oh my god. It is. It is not easy. Oh my god. Oh, it hurts how accurate this is. I don't like the feeling of the seat on my back. So oh my I god. Like this oh, I have to wear, I usually have to wear cotton clothes. I find myself laughing at the simple things I think about sometimes too. I was just thinking about Antarctic Pod. Remote continent on the planet. Wow. It's also one of the most beautiful. The world's ice. It's not what it looks like. Oh. Oh my god. Mom, is that you? Why are you in this show? <laughs> yeah, it could, it totally could be cool. <laughs> yep, definitely is. That's definitely not what she said. I think this is a really creative intro. Okay, so he's clearly his his obsession is Antarctica, which you know that's pretty cool. That's unique. I haven't seen a lot of people that are super into that. Oh, high school. Oh man. My school is. He is. I didn't have headphones like that, but I always oh, listen to music in the halls. It has won lots of girls. I think my college did too. Every girl is pretty in her own way. There you go, Sam. Respect women. Everyone's beautiful in their own way. I have, that is the worst feeling. When you think someone's like looking at you and then you're like, oh hey, and they're like, uh, no. <laughs> Techtropolis is like Best Buy? Do me brown sugar? Do me brown sugar? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, who is this man? <laughs> Okay, Zahid, new character. Zahid. That looks rough. Oh, we need to protect Sam at all costs already. Oh, he's so amused by it. Oh, Casey. Again, my parents. My mom's like five foot one, and my dad's like five eleven. Remember these? Yeah. Someone's making their face and it's sad, so I tried to find a woman in the support group or someone's just diagnosed, so I said, Oh my god, hold on. I have it here somewhere. <gasps> yes! Okay, alright. So my, I did have, I had an emotion chart on the fridge that had this little square magnet that you would put on whatever emotion you're feeling. I also had a, I did have one that was laminated, but we, I don't know where it is, but I wanted to grab this one. A to-do list every night and day, getting ready for bed, getting up for school, that my mom and dad, well, that I made for me, actually, 
back when I was in grade school, trying to learn to be more independent on my own. So I will go through them just real quick. Turn off light of light and open the shade. You can tell by my amazing art. Get dressed. Shirt, pants, shoes, socks, hat. Of course, I forget underwear. <laughs> Full PJs. My mom always taught me how to fold. Make bed. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I did have a bunk bed for a while growing up, which was awesome. Eat breakfast. I love how I specified what my breakfast was because that literally was my breakfast every single day for like 10 years. Bacon, some ketchup, and waffles. Moldy, I'm making waffles. Take my meds. Put my dishes in the dishwasher. You can see I, could tr I tried to do like 3D perspective and just gave up. <laughs> get my snack water and my lunch usually my uh, peanut butter and Cheez-Its uh, maybe some popcorn or cereal and my lunch and my water bottle for school brush my teeth and my hair depending on how long it is pack my backpack with my books and stuff put my shoes and my coat on you can tell us I made this in the winter and go to school and have a nice day Look at me all happy to go to school. Oh, man. I didn't think I still had this. That's crazy. All right, let's get back to it. My dad used to go to the ball games all the time. I remember when my dad took me to my first uh, Bears game. Right that Sam was going to try to date. I mean, you and I... And he's crossed the street again. His eyes closed. He's or not he someone with dementia. Spend some time together, just the two of us, you know. Get back to where we were before all of this. Maybe we go on a date. Hmm? Or we fool around. <laughs> huh? Serious. I'm sorry. I'm just playing. Wow, we'd hurt his feelings. My parents are trying to get back into being themselves too with my sister out of the house and me as well. If she really lays into her about the dating thing, I'm going to be kind of upset because she's definitely going to be overreacting if she does. I appreciate your trying to help. You could not try interrupting her. Reading social cues, exchanging small talk. Indeed. Which is so hard to read and understand. I really wish that I knew those strategies. <laughs> Ice cream? <laughs> okay, you can't keep him in a bubble forever, lady. Okay, you can't control his life. Because when he finishes high school, he's going to be 18. How do you know that? Oh, f no, fuck you! Um, Learning something new. I like research. It's me too. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Did you see this man's YouTube channel? Ho Whispers? <laughs> Why does that have a, such a big like to dislike ratio? What is that? If you want to talk to hoes, you've come to the right place. <laughs> the place to go sam he looks like he has a prison haircut dude this is not the right place to get your information no no oh no <laughs> that is the cheesiest fucking pickup line i've ever heard trying to make it a little less obvious zaheed i think that's the same right she is cute I've never had someone in public do something like that. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, Sam. Oh, Sam, Sam, Sam. Oh, oh. bruh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, it's painful. Oh my god, that is so cringe. I feel it on an emotional level. No. Okay, fuck off, you bitch. Talk Calling her an orca, have you seen your style, you ugly bitch? Oh, there you go! Oh, we stand, Casey. 
There we go. <laughs> she just fucking dips. Oh, yeah. Oh, pipe down. I agree. Oh, no. And it happened to me with cussing when I was little. Twat. 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 She's just gonna scream it out. <laughs> you can't be mad at the way he's handling it. <laughs> that was not the right response, Daddy O. I never understand people running in sweaters. Sweating is. I feel that. I feel that. You're running kind of far. Hey, Casey, I brought you a chocolate cake. And oh, oh, oh. <gasps> oh, shit. We stand a defensive sister. Love you, cat. My sister doesn't let anyone beat me up. Except her. Right? Except herself. Yep. You got mine, you cat. <laughs> uh, oh god, what else did he write about it? Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I read that down too. <laughs> oh. It's a little. Eyes are still a little big. But. On the first date? Oh my god. That's definitely a joke my dad would make. Jesus. Well, okay, I was gonna say, I'm not a girl, I don't know, but I feel like you don't need a night out to wear a thong. If you just want to wear one, just wear one. I don't know if they're comfortable or not. They're probably not, but... Besides the point. We're not even halfway through the episode. Or we're about halfway through, and I can already tell you worry about nothing. You're like, you're acting like my mom a little bit. Well, at least you know what you're scared of. Hey, hey, hey. That is really uncalled for. Wow. Oh. I really think that's something I would do. Oh my god. That is a very odd hairstyle. <clears throat> All right. Ow! But hey, he never said dating. You said go out, like hang out. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I didn't know I was in this show. Oh, Sam. Oh, Sam. Did you know that some frogs have pads on their feet? Oh, Sam! My God! Oh, this is so hard to watch, but I feel it so. Some serious bug eyes you got. Ah, Sam, no. I don't like cats. Would you be willing to get rid of Simba? Sam, that was a catastrophic failure. Can you see my nipples through this shirt? Yes. Yes. Go. Go. Yeah, why would you need to go to Best Buy twice in the same week? I mean, unless you like returning something, but. Okay. Nice. Oh my god. I hate having friends that do that, but I do have friends that do that. Okay, dude. He needs to stop. Would you like to go on a date with me? That's the reason I came here in the first place. Throw it all out there. All right, Sam. Oh my god. <laughs> He's smoking a blunt. Oh my god. Okay, at least she's trying to apologize. Oh, 
God. She's one of those people. Living in the glory days of college. I'm like, oh my God. Oh God. Oh no. Please be gay, please be gay, please be gay. I don't want there to be drama this early in the show. Come on. Oh my God, Sam. Oh my God, Sam. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> His face. He's like. At least take the Snickers. There you go. How is she not even sweating after running in a hoodie? Oh, I hate that look. Oh my god. Okay, for real. She's really pretty. Oh god. Is she not either? Oh my god. Wait, is this a dorm? Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh. Oh, oh, wow, they're just getting into it. Oh no. Oh. Give me a kiss. Sam! Dude. I'm sorry. Seriously, are you retarded? Hey. Sometimes when I feel most alone, I imagine myself in that ice. Frozen, unable to. You're tearing up, man. That's. God damn it. Fuck, it's the first episode of the show, dude. Oh my god. That kind of shit hurts, man. Because. No, we're not fucking normal. Oh. She can just tell. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, she's a virgin too. Oh, me too, man. Yeah. I mean, you got a point. Oh, no, no, no! Shit. This is gonna be one of those shows, isn't it? It's gonna be hitting me hard. <laughs> he was fat. Oh. Am I gonna hate this mom? I feel like I am. That's fucking sad. Okay. I'm sorry about the sniffles. Because some of it's just because I'm, I'm feeling for Sam. The rest of it is just because... Oh. Penguins aren't like people. They're better. Oh! Oh my god. I'm here for this, man. I'm here for a supportive dad. Let's go. And Sam feeling like... He wants to find someone to be with for the rest of his life. <laughs> He's trying to connect, man. <gasps> no, dude! Jasmine's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> yes, they are. Put yourself out there. I should go on another date. I should stay away from girls. Dating is You're not easy. Oh. I feel like he's talking to me, man. chooses a mate. Sam, no. Oh, no. I'm watching these. Go away. I decided I want to give you my ring. After I die. Oh. That's great. He accepts him as a mate. And as you already know, the penguins mate for life. Sick. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. 
No, 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 Sam, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. Oh, my God. Okay. That might possibly be one of the most relatable episodes of a show I've ever watched. Ever. There were too many things in there that were like me. Like the like this the the thing with my my tasks and the reading into things black and white so much so much being brutally honest just not really able to lie having a ridiculously hard time trying to figure out and understand girls and dating is not it's not easy for guys in general but you throw an you throw an aspie into the mix oof it gets even rougher. All right, like I feel Sam though. Like goes on one day with a chick. <laughs> they eat pizza in the parking lot of his workplace, and then they go back to her dorm to hook up. And he freaks out and like shoves her to the ground and is like, ah, touching. Uh. Like, I used to have a weird thing with touching when I was younger, too. Like, I would get freaked out by it, too. and Or, like, if I was having, like, meltdowns and stuff. Um, the quickest way to, like, help me get through it was, like, pressure. So, like, my dad would pick me up and, like, give me a bear hug and just hold me until I calmed down. Like, I would say I could still breathe, but he would just, like, squeeze. And I also had, like, some of those weighted blankets, which, ooh, if, you know, if you've never tried a weighted blanket, oh, it's so nice. It's a little bit of side info. Whether you want to know it or not, I, I'll, I'll spare the details, but I've, I've been on one date my entire life. One date. And I thought, you know, they, I'd, I'd, I'd give them the reins, let them choose so that I didn't pick something that they, oh, this is stupid. Like, I want to ruin that. And to be fair, I was also like kind of Catholic, catfish a little bit. Their pictures were not current, but they were like from like four or five years ago. So it, they looked a little different in person. But aside from that, they decided, let's go to the movies. I'm like, you know what? That's a, that's a good first date idea. You know, it's casual. Nothing, so you don't have to like talk a ton. You can talk before and after. And you can like, you might even be able to have like the... Uh, like, uh, like the super cheesy ass. Like it's like it's a thing. It like it's a very <clears throat> I guess like milestone kind of date. Like it's not that serious. Like you don't have to worry about too many things going wrong. See, that is if you pick an appropriate movie. She did not. I am. My eyes are watering just thinking back on it because it was it was just so. Bad. So, I'll give you a second to try and try and guess what she picked. She picked the second Fifty Shades movie. And I was not prepared. I was not told in, in advance ahead of time. No, no, no. I never car at the time. She picked me up from my dorm and we went to the movies. And then when she, I can't remember if she pulled out the tickets or like got it or whatever, but whatever it was, <clears throat> and I heard the name, my heart dropped into my stomach and I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. And uh, let's just say the day didn't go very well. It was, cause, cause yeah, it was, that's not really a movie to have a first date on. Maybe like your six month anniversary date on like if you're trying to like have theater to yourself or something but like there were maybe eight to ten other people in the in the entire theater and it was one of those like IMAX it was huge and no one was sitting in the same row as each other everyone was spaced out and it was in pairs of two not 20 minutes into the movie every single pair was just going at it and then I'm sitting there like mix her just it's like trying to figure out the plot of this movie and like not trying it. Oh, it was so bad it was so bad kind of not a day since then that was sophomore year of college maybe junior year dating is not easy for people on the spectrum you gotta you gotta 
cut us a little bit of slack. Because we, like, guys in general struggle with picking up signs. It is so much worse for us. We, it's so bad. Ugh. That's why it, it's almost like you gotta need, meet another person on the spectrum that, like, gets it. but Or just someone that's, like, really understanding. But, that's enough about that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. This also might be the first show that made me cry in the first episode a little bit. Like, my eyes were definitely watering, like, more than once in this episode. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm really looking forward to this. I, I want to binge this so bad. I want it so bad. <laughs> um, I'm worried about the mom. <clears throat> I'm glad she left the bar, but I hope she doesn't go back. Because if she does, I'm worried that she might hook up with that guy or something. And that's going to... Oh, that's going to be so stupid. It would make me just hate her for the rest of the series. Um, What else? So the, the, oh, well, uh, the names I got. I got Sam, Casey... Julia, which was the doctor, and Zahid. I did not get the parents' names. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to subscribe, throw a like, join the notification squad, make sure you're notified every single time that I upload. And I will have the full and uncut reactions for this and the 100 and Vikings all up on my Patreon. I'm going to put the first episode for each of the shows, the full reaction, up on Patreon likely hopefully soon for everybody to kind of get the hype going be like oh my god this is a good good show let's watch this and then i i'm gonna try and probably tweak the tears a little bit like i stated earlier i don't want to talk about it a ton because uh i i got some stuff i gotta get done today but i'm really excited for these shows and i'm really excited that i finally just sat down and just got each of the first episodes out for them and I hope you guys are going to be happy to join me on this journey. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, this has been Jack. Here to tell my dog to get off their bed. It's been Jack from Group of Gamers Inc. And I'm out. Peace. Bye. Yeah, I should put myself out there and find someone that has sex. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. <laughs> These onions, man. Ugh, people need to stop cutting them in my house. It is hard for parents to let their kids out of the nest. Yeah, no. Oh, Lord. Oh my God, did he take him to a strip club? I feel that, man. <laughs> Bikes? Oh my God. I mean, he's right. <laughs> oh my god. I already stand. Oh my god.